structure in the Hero Indian Super League since its inception. And we are in season eight. Ooh, almost confusion between goalkeeper and defender. It's going to be a horror. What a horror of a start for the goalkeeper. What a wonderful start for Odisha. They take the lead and Gurpreet, well, questions here already being asked. It's a terrific start, that's OK. So far as uh, Odisha are concerned, they've only ever scored one goal previously against Bengaluru. Let's have a look at this one, Darren. This is an extraordinarily defensive lapse to make. Well, that, that's just a long punt from Kamaljeet and Gupit coming out with a very, very poor cl clear, clearance there. He should be doing much, much better. And look at Harvey with the presence of mind. Goes first time and just lobs it over Alan Costa. That's a beautiful goal there. I just said that Javi scored two goals in the final against Chennai a couple of years ago. He scored here within four minutes of his debut in new colours for his new club, Odisha. The whistle. And it's 2 1. What a strike from Javi Hernandez. That is pure class. That's a golden goal because that is some technique and he's exploited the hit to the full and I bet the feeling even worse than ever. Well, that was a beautiful free kick there from Harvey. We know that he's got an amazing left foot and you never want to give him time and space, but this time from the set piece, picks his spot and there's no chance for Gurpreet there. That's sweet over the wall into the corner. That goes past Gurpreet even before he can react. That's an amazing free kick there from Harvey. And that's the reaction on the bench. Ooh, wow, they say. And it's the first time ever that Odisha have scored twice in a game. That was good play. And once again, they try to open up Bengaluru with Harry Dai. He's one on one. It is Harry Dai. It's still Harry Dai. And on he goes and finishes it. History is made. It is Odisha 3, Bengaluru 1. You've never heard that scoreline before. They've never scored three against Bengaluru before. They've never beaten them before. They have tonight. Again, that's brilliant play. We had a couple of minutes of end-to-end -end football. Both teams looking for that goal. But Odisha getting with it. That's a beautiful diagonal there from Isaac. He looks for Aridal Cabrera. And Cabrera takes it on his feet. Chops it to his left, to his right. There's some a lot of trickery there. Gets Pratik Chaudhary on the ground and he just slots that past Gurpreet. That's beautiful there. Picks his spot. Yep, that's a stunning goal. In, out, shake it all about. Twist and turn. Wonderful here. From the Spaniard, another goal-scoring debutant. 33-year-old Aridai Cabrera, who played under Ramirez in Spain, playing under him in India. Left-footed, Javier Hernandez. And a big chance, and it is an equalising goal. It was brilliantly created, and the header is for Hector Rodas. The Spaniard took the free kick. The Spaniard was on the end of it with his head. It is one apiece here, and the first goal in the Hero Indian Super League for Hector Rodas. Well, John, you know when Harvey is on the ball, he's always going to deliver those inch-perfect crosses. And look at him again. That's on a platter there. But where's the marking? Who is marking Hector Rodas? It seems like he's completely free. Heads that in, heads it across goal. And so I'm saying has no chance here. Beautiful header. He scored his last goal six months ago for Cultural Leonesa in Spain. And here he is in India, proving he can score them here as well. Typical defender's goal, of course, with that sort of a header. Krasniki, a tall man, he's in there as well. And it is into the net, and they have two. And it's all turning out right now. What an extraordinary turnaround in this game. He cannot believe it, I don't think. It's two in two for that to Rodas, and he's got them in the space of about five minutes. Again, a thumping header from Hector Rodas and the ball coming in from Harvey. But you watch the marking again. Raju is trying to hold on to him. He leaves him behind. Look at that. That's just raw strength. Could have been a penalty even if the referee saw that. But Hector Rodas doesn't stop. Heads that into the ground. Again, no chance for the keeper, so I'm saying. Or because Jairu either, both of them on the line, but there's too much power on it. And if it's not Hector Rodas, it might be somebody else in the dark shirts. It's right beneath the cross, but has gone straight in. What 
turn, an astonishing turnaround, and Javier Hernandez is the top scorer in the Hero in New Super League of 2021-22. He loves it here at the Tillac Maiden Stadium. Direct from the corner kick, the Spaniard finds a 3-1 lead for Odisha. You have to ask questions there. Can Percha do better? No, that is that looks difficult. Maybe if he was on his line, he could head that out. But then again, let's not take anything away from that strike from Harvey. A spin bowler would have been proud of that one. You could see the ball spinning in the air. If he can just get this one up and over the wall. It's a chance for him, and he has done it. That went exactly where I said it was going to go, and that's not being clever. You can see it from here, just as we could with Harvey the other day. The goalkeeper is beaten all ends up. Harry Dye loves this end of the field. He's twice scored on it now. The keeper is beaten. I'm afraid SC's Bengal are probably beaten as well. Odisha lead by four goals to one. Oh my days, what a free kick from Harry Dye there again. You can see he just picks his spot so well. It goes above the wall. There's absolutely no chance for Suwam Sen. Harvey on the bench as well acknowledges the quality in that free kick. Let's have a look at it again. Just beautiful there. That's a stunning, stunning, stunning from Ari Dai. Still 20 minutes to go. What a time for the substitutions to be made. Oh, Jonathan has a lovely use of the chest there to knock that ball down. And he'll be desperate to get his first goal here in the Hero Indian Super League. Black stays down. It's five. The first team to get five this season is Odisha. It was a lovely hit from the 20-year-old Isaac. Everybody was looking at Jonatas, the Brazilian. A pondering coach from SC Spengal knows it's just getting worse and worse and worse. And that's come just two minutes after they've got one themselves. Lovely moment for the young man, though. Well, just when you thought SC is Bengal are putting pressure on Odisha FC, Odisha FC deliver with another goal. That's a beautiful strike from Isak there. No chance for Suam Sen. Let's have a look with a different angle. He gets a fingertip though. Signed on a four-year deal from Azol. And uh, this is a bit of a tizzy here. But here come Odisha. Maybe they can get another one themselves. They're still up there with Krasniki, with Jonathan, a back heel from him, it's 6-4. This party yeah! just got crazier and crazier and crazier as Aradai gets his second goal. Yes, we enjoyed Jonatas's contribution there, that was a lovely piece of awareness and skill from the Brazilian. But it is the Spaniard who finishes it off, and Chuck who's going to take Disher. It might have been a different game had that one gone in. Anyway, we're looking here at uh, Henry, who's up there. Krasniki will try and slip this one through. It does get through. Keeper saved the first one, but not the second one. They do have a goal here, and it's uh, touched into the net. And it's Nickel Rats, the 20 year old, on loan from the Kickstart Club, that gives a kickstart to Odisha's night. Are we talking too soon? 60 seconds left and counting. You see Chris Nicky trying to thread that through the eye of a needle and just defensively, Curler Blasters get caught out. Miscommunication with Leskovic and Cabra and it falls to the young man who needs two attempts, but he gets it in at the second attempt. Comes off second best, although he is back in the possession here. Of Odisha, the ball in, headed down, into the net, we've got our goal, and Jonatas is off the mark in the Hero Indian Super League. The Brazilian rolls to the cross, and North East will be cursing. They're not much the better of the game at times, yet they're the one in trail with nine minutes left. But what a time to get it in the last 10 minutes. We have goal 84 of the Hero Indian Super League season 2021 22. A header after great work here by Toyba. Toyba, brilliant. Looks up, just dinks it into the hole. Gajinda should tuck across and should deal with that because everybody's been shuffled across the line. 
but you're talking about quality. This man knows where the back of the net is into the ground. The referee surely will play on not much longer, but just enough time for Javi Hernandez to size things up here. It is uh, Javi, he'll go for goal. Oh, what a screamer from Javi Hernandez. It's not been his night, it's not been Odisha's night, but that's another one to pick out of the bag. One of the goals of the season again, it's four for Javi Hernandez this season now, all of them here in the Tilak Maiden Stadium. And one of the best of the lot. Well, how about that first try? He gets the ball at the half field end, runs with it. Narayanda should be letting him go on his right, allows him back on his left. But how about that? There's no chance there for Vishal Kett in goal. Will he go for goal? No, he won't. He'll play it across there. Difficult one for the keeper. Equalising goal. And it is Jonatas who scrambles it over the line. The keeper left flailing there. And Jonatas, who has got Odisha, right back in this one. Richly deserved, I have to say, on the last couple of minutes play. Well, he should have scored a minute back. But finally gets his second goal of the season. Let's have a look at it again. Howie with that ball there, good ball coming in from Nanda, it's a deflection that beats Dheeraj with the flight of the ball. Good ball there by Howie again, yes that deflection offset it in there and you can see. Javi Hernandez has a dangerous oh! ball and there is an equaliser! Unbelievable! Two set pieces, two goals. The corner had come out there. Lashley Khan had just put a hand to the ball. Well, that's just good delivery in again. It's come off one on's leg. He knows that his body shape's all wrong. He was close enough to Hector Rodas to make a challenge. He left it to try and help his teammate, and it's hit his arm or his chest. It's got to go down as an own goal. It's an OG for big one on, unfortunately. But it's come through bodies. Very difficult to see that one. But Hector Rodas. Does enough to put him off. Well, Faust giving it straight away, and he's giving it to Javier Hernandez of all people. That's a real slip from uh, Matada Fowl. And uh, here comes Ali Dai. Save oh, it. No, no, it's no. going to be squeezed in. We've got an early goal again here in Vasco. Ali Dai has got the last touch for the back two inches. But it was the mistake, and so ironically, by Matada Fowl that has proved so, so costly for the league leaders. It's 1-0, Odisha. To the other end we go, and it's Odisha's turn to try and find a way through. Trying to penetrate, great ball in, and it's into the net this time, and there will be no flag raised this time either. It's a lovely, lovely response here. Nawaz can't keep it out. High fives on the Odisha bench, and we're all back square again at 2-2. From Jerry, Mandar not aware of Jerry at the back post completely loses him but that's a beautiful header from Jerry there it really is he scored two on the last day of last season he's not found the net since he certainly found it this time 2-2 two -two. square pass into the path of Paul slides it to John Atas. it's a promising move is this one for Adisha oh my goodness it's another cracker and what a night this young man is having Jerry double it's turned around again, it's now 3-2 Odisha. And the other fellow who got two goals in the last match of last season has got his coach jumping for joy. Odisha turning around thanks to a Jerry double. And Kiko Ramirez there is off his seat. What a brilliant strike there from Jerry. Quality of that shot. Takes his time on it. It's just so simple there for the FC. Couple of passes and then boom, back of the net. We're up to 164. It's an incredible season here. And the assistant coach, Kino Gatti. Both teams in action again shortly. As Jerry goes on, careering on. Jonatas is coming. Jonatas will score. But Disha will win the points. Jonatas loves that end of the ground here in Vasco. He's got three goals in his first season. I love it. Oh, 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 what a ball oh, Jerry had to play again. And one by his left side from Jerry, puts a beautiful cross in and that's a brilliant finish from John Dunn. 165 goals. And this, not the most spectacular, but it means an awful lot to Odisha. Will be their first win over this opposition. 
there is your celebration. Time. Let's go to blow out any danger. And it comes down the middle. Ari Dai now. Decent call in as well. It's a tap in. And that is so, so easy for Daniel. It's taken years for him to get on the score sheet. And when he finally does, it was the easiest, simplest bit of football that ended up in a 1-0 lead for Odisha. And Daniel, I don't think he'll ever score an easier goal than this in his career. It's just a question, as a striker, being in the right place at the right time. But the quality of the ball in from Aradai took the goalkeeper out of the equation. And the simple, simple tapping means Odisha, well, take the lead. Javi. Looking for the pass for Aridai. Brings it down. Creates room, shoots, and it's gone under the keeper. And it's 2 0. Just like that, Aridai, who's been threatening and tormenting down the left, has chopped into his right. And the score is now Orisha 2, Northeast United 0. We have to say, Mirshad in goal has to stop that going in. It's gone straight through him and straight under him. Lacra needs to get a little bit closer as well. But when you're allowed that time and space to a quality player like Aradai, it's going to go in. But that's poor, poor goalkeeping from Mirshad. There's no excuse for that at all. But it's Odisha that benefit. You have to stay calm. Krasniki. Nanda, this is much better. Oh, it's snatch and grab. Incredible. Orisha with zero attempts until that one moment. And it is that one moment that this game was begging for. Against the run of play there. And it all started from Katimani. Gives the ball away cheaply. And a great run there. Krasniki moves in. Nanda with that left footed cross. But clever run from Jerry. Kino Garcia is a very, very happy man right now. Swept over the top for Redeem. Wonderful touch for Jonathan! Wow, what a glorious finish! And there is still life in Orisha! There is still life in this game! And this title race is as alive as it has ever been! Wow! Jonathan takes a good first touch opens up his body and just curls it around Nim Dorji. Lakshmi Kant, Katimani, just watching that go in the back of the net. No chance for him. Katimani stood like a statue, watching an artistic goal go past him. And welcome back, Jonathan. Here he comes, blasted into the top corner. And that is a way to take a penalty. We saw Ahmed Jahu a few weeks ago take one in similar fashion. And that is rifled into the top corner by Jonatas. He has another goal to his name, and Adisha take the lead. Keeps his head down, up in the top corner. No keeper in the world's going to save that one. Look at that, power, accuracy, 1-0 Adisha. Ball number 224 of this season that continues to give us plenty of goals. <laughs> Javi, slightly lucky but scampers away. And still Javi, and there's the pass in and settled with simplicity by Jonathan. And this game has been screaming for some quality. Javi provides, Jonathan finishes. Odisha 1-0. Well, how easy was that? Like a walk in the park from Javi. Went past a couple of defenders, puts it on a platter for Jonatas. An easy tap in. Again, Javi getting the ball. SC's Bengal should be dealing with that. Easy, easy goal. 1 0 to Odisha FC. And Jonatas keeps going. Powering past 1 and 2. And still, Jonatas sets it up for a shot on the weak foot. And it's gone in! And Javi had Left foot, right foot, doesn't matter. What an important goal for Orisha, and they're back in the lead. Back in that sixth position again. Well, it takes two to tango. This time, 
It's Jonathan with that individual run, goes past a couple of players, they're just not able to deal with him. Who's going to put in a tackle? There are five players around him, he still finds Harvey. And that slight deflection there. Daniel, Jonathas. And Jonathas takes, oh, ah! Jonathas! What a wonderful goal! And one that can leave you in a state of wonder. And it can also make you wonder why don't Odisha play like this? Match after match, they find a special goal at the end when it's beyond them. It's more. And poked forward for Javi. There's Jonathan, then Javi again. Oh, wonderful! Absolutely wonderful stuff from Javi Hernandez. And that is a bellow from a boat anchor at the shipyard end. 1-1. Stunner. Absolute stunning goal from Javi. That was absolutely brilliant. A wonderful, wonderful piece of play. Just look at that little ball played forwards from Isaac. And then the little give and go. And that is a stunning finish into the top corner. That has got to be up there with the top five goals this season. But look at the pass appreciation from Jonatas. He doesn't smash it back at him, he cushions it. And Javi comes on with that sweet left foot and just drills it in the top corner. That is a stunning goal. He knew it the moment it left his left boot that that one is going in. Maybe ball sent in, I almost getting the first touch right. It's still open and Jonathan is there. <laughs> Jonathan eventually, after multiple attempts, Orisha creating lots of problems for Chennai in inside the box. And someone eventually had to get there, and it is Jonathan who gets there. Turn around complete 2 1. Five in a row from Jonathan. He needed one, two, three attempts at it, didn't he? But it's comical defending. You have a look there, Aladai's trying to bring it down, but this is brilliant from Toyback to just hang it up at the far post. I think that first header hit the post. Someone cleared it off the line. Who was it who cleared it off the line? It was Javi. Have a look. No, it's Rodas. Look at Rodas here. Just couldn't have sort his feet out. Then Aladai goes, great save from Debjit, but bodies everywhere. And a simple slam home from close range gives Odisha that vital advantage. Here is. He's actually continued his run, and Alan Costa just put slightly out of possession, position. That's still looking for Jonatas. Completely missed by Pratik. Good save, but the ball will be turned in by Nanda Kuma. And Adisha take the lead. Fantastic run. And watch this final ball just inside. Oh, that's a bad mistake. And certainly Jonathan really had the chance to put it away, but it comes out, gets a ricochet off the keeper. Lara does quite well, but there's Nanda. Just manages to get it across the line. Odisha start, that's the one we wanted. We wanted an early start, we wanted an early goal in this game. Odisha take the lead, 1-0 up. Ah! Javi. Jerry. Can he pick out a cross? He can pick out a cross! And he, pick, he can pick out Radim Flam! And tell you what, we speak about it, he came on, but I'm scoring early! And Pratan cuts out, caught ball watching, doesn't realise where Radim is, and he just goes in at that far post and slams it home. What a start against the runner play for Odisha! And that is a very, very well-worked goal. In Poya, the way, Jonatas. Possible chip over the top. Prado held at the ball, bobbling around inside the penalty area. Comes out to Paul. Nice quick feet. Good save, TP Rehenesh. Oh, it's gone in. Couldn't get a hand on it. TP Rehenesh. Just did enough to push it around the post. But he's just helped it into the back of the net. 2 1. Great time for Odisha just to get that goal just on the half time whistle almost. And that's them back in the game, Mark. Good time to get a goal as well. Stroke of half time. Good hand, but not enough to push it round the post.